Greetings all, Vanny here for Cancer's Weekend Message. Cancer, I apologize for my absence. I made a video explaining before all of these have gone up, so if you're curious, check that out. Big updates are coming, but I am here for you. The first card that came out is the Five of Cups. Immediately, this is to me celebration, like sharing, raising a glass with four of your best friends. There might be, mm, spirit help me find the correct words, hurt and indecision. You have the two and the four of swords that have come out for you in the upright positions. The two of swords is often talking about needing to make a decision. In the traditional depiction, she is blindfolded and she has to be leading with her intuition on where she has to go. But of course, anxiety comes in and makes her feel like she is doing something wrong. And that is where the four of, wand, the four of swords comes in. The anxiety comes from a past experience. Perhaps you feeling like you did not deserve happiness, that you did not deserve companionship, the companionship that is being offered in the Five of Cups. You feel like you do not deserve it. And in doing so, you feel you would block or reject something that is truly meant for you. For the fear of getting hurt again and that's something that i can absolutely understand my love because i myself am going through this i have been single since 21 summer and i haven't had good relationships that last one was the only good one i've ever had and i had to end it because i wasn't in a position where i could accept the love that was being offered to me and I cared too much about the person I was with to do that to him because my heart was not in it and I would only be continuing to hurt him and he did not deserve that. And so there's a sense of healing that must be done. And that is why the Six of Pentacles is coming in. The Six of Pentacles represent sharing the excess that you have. And what I mean by this is like, say you are a farmer or a homesteader you fill your root cellar first with your vegetables from your garden, and then you take any extra to the market. Filling your cup up first. I know it's a suit of pentacles and not a cup, but filling yourself up first, ensuring that you are stable, secure, happy, and most importantly, healed before sharing energies with other people can prevent further hurt like this and just be be honest with them about the situation if you feel like you cannot commit to a level of friendship relationship or attachment that they would want be honest and if they have a negative reaction then that was further proof that they were not a person that you needed in your life they may have been a test to see if you would accept a love less than what you deserve or will you decide that you have to do more work before you're ready for that? There will be tests like that, my love. Ten of Swords is coming out. Do not get trapped in your mind. This could be your best friend and your worst enemy. And my love, sometimes it is a complete battlefield. You have many swords. There is a lot of mental battles going on here. And I do feel it is very much heart-centered. You feeling like you don't have a right to follow your heart. That you don't have the the permission that you don't have the ability to but no one no no one gives you permission to live your life you give yourself permission like that and if you feel like you need someone's permission then you need to take your power back from them because too often we do that we give our power away to people outside of ourselves to our bosses so we know that we are reliant upon them for our finances to our parents so that we rely upon them for heavy decision makings and getting us through the tough things to our partners to to anyone but us we give our power and there are several reasons why we do that it could be out of a sense of need to take care of other people because you haven't been taken care of and you know how that feels it could be to a sense of fear of your own decision making but 
My love, take up your own sword and take your life back. You have to start moving in the direction that you want to go in. Not in the direction other people are trying to tell you. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It is time for your new beginning. You to decide who you are going to become. And if that means you change your name, you change your outfits, you change your identity, whatever it is. You have to be you. Authentically, wholly, unapologetically. If it hurts no one, do it. You and your loved ones are safe. You will be taken care of. You are coming out for yourself. This is your own new beginning, Cancer. Lean into this. Lean into this energy of I deserve happiness. Conclusions are within reach. And it might be happening faster than you initially thought because that card has come out very much today. You are very close to achieving your goal. Even if that goal is just you get to figure out who you are outside of other people's opinions it's time to release negativity nothing is set in stone yet so release old ways of thinking old habits but also stay open to whatever life can bring you because so often when we embark upon a new odyssey we can engage in something so much better than what we were originally planning for ourselves because we, we still lay down limitations upon our dreams, upon our fantasies. We lay down limitations on what we think we can have, on what we could achieve financially because that's what everyone around me has always had. My love, generational curses have trapped families in poverty, in dark and negative relationships and repeating patterns of you marrying your parents again and again and again. And it takes someone standing up and saying, this is wrong and I'm going to change it for those changes to occur. That takes a lot of bravery, Cancer. And I feel like you don't feel you are brave. You don't feel you are strong enough because people have constantly told you that because people have constantly tried to take away your power, but it's actually because you are so incredible, because you are so gifted and because you're so bright that they were constantly trying to take this, to misdirect you, to steer your sword somewhere that it was not meant to be. It's time to take back the handle, take back the reins and take back your fucking life because you only get one this time round. Next time, you're going to be a completely different person with a completely different mission. You came here to do something special, Cancer. And the only way to get those answers is to contact your higher self. To start talking, to start working in what makes you wholly, unapologetically, and completely happy. Because that's the point of life. Not bills, not taxes, not war. Love and happiness. Have a beautiful day.